Byron, are you friends with Anderson and Gallows? I'd like to consider myself on good terms with them because they talk about you a lot. Oh, yeah? What do yeah. they say? They say, nerd! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 505 pounds, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. One of the all-time great tag teams, legends in Japan, former tag team champions here at WWE. As big and bad as they come. The motto's always been very clear. We're here to beat people up and win championships. A couple of good hoots looking to make a trip to the pay window. a match that doesn't need a lot of hype or description. Just look in the ring. This is going to be an incredible six-man tag match. We've seen some amazing six-man tag team matches in the past, and I'm sure this one will rank right up there with some of the best. Oh, man. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is not on the line here tonight. for him to overcome. He's got his eyes set on his chest. The reverse DDT. This one is over. Carl Anderson and partner Luke Gallows reached the pinnacle of tag team. He breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael.
locks in. Northern Lights suplex. Now we see Carl Anderson starting to slow down a bit. When Anderson and Gallows defeated Cesaro and Sheamus for the Raw Tag Team titles during the Royal Rumble kickoff show, it represented a new era in tag team competition. The duel came to WWE by way of Japan with the goal of taking over. I know it's difficult for you to be unbiased, Corey, but if you look at how Anderson and Gallows won the Raw Tag Team Championship, it will clearly show why a second referee was needed to officiate the match. Don't let the facts get in the way of a good story. Drop kick! Great athleticism. In the big boot lands. Drop kick! Great athleticism. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. And Finn Balor connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. What an amazing display. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo Leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. Big flying forearm. He got all of that in Zaguri. A nice shot by Finn Balor. The Bo Dallas we see now is much different than the individual who debuted in WWE in 2014. For someone challenging Bo Dallas today, they need to be ready to square off against a vicious individual. What Bo Dallas has shown us is that he's willing to take out anyone at any time. An opponent must be ready for anything once they've been identified as Dallas's opponent. I mean, before they even get in the ring. Hurricane Rana, and nobody does it better. And now he goes for it a second time. Going after the midsection. Inverted DDT. Over time. Look at Carl. With the cutter. He might have. This may very well be it. Oh, what a snap there. Oh, perfectly executed. Oh, you don't see that every day. Carl Anderson with a nice reversal. Luke Gallows tagged in. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who've had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the Dream put on the face paint, you knew it was going to be a bad night for their opponents. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Close line. What impact. It might only be Hart keeping Curtis Axel in this match. He may very well have reached the point of no return here in the six. Got the shoulders down. An impressive series of moves right there. Hooked up right to the face. Impact and end some. Anderson tags in. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competitions since the early days of sports entertainment. 
Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations could be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Great effort, but he oh. better save something for later in the match. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. The three superstars have aligned things of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit. Three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the teams of three are competing in, the members of that team must be on the same page. Oftentimes, the teams who have the best continuity are the most successful. Why oh, did you hear his back crack? Carl Anderson is one of the most dangerous competitors in sports entertainment. Anderson's also considered an expert in tag team. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh, how resilient was that? I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Well executed, neck breaker. Down with a brain buster. That'll scramble your brain. Now Carl Anderson is controlling the tempo of this match. Trouble in paradise. And all out of And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. In Japan, Carl. Boom. Rocket kick. Carl. Boom. Rocket kick. Now it's time to capitalize. The Miz's chances just went from bad to worse. Nobody controls the pace of a match. Boom. With the cutter. Can he finish him off here? is letting his feelings be known. You saw the best female and male competitors in WWE fight side by side during the Mixed Match Challenge. But one duo will emerge from the 12-team competition as the inaugural winner. The team of the Miz and Asuka, also known as Team Asuka. The Irishman has his Irish up. Spinning kick to the gut. He checked down 19-16. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Michael mentioned The Miz and Asuka's success on the Mixed Match Challenge, but can we clarify things a bit? Most of that tournament was The Miz getting out of the way as Asuka continued her domination. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Most isn't all Saxton. Don't you dare forget that The Miz scored a pinfall victory against Bobby Roode in the finals that made the A-lister and Asuka the first ever Mixed Match Challenge winners. Luke Gallows is keeping a good tempo now, guys. A clubbing blow. Boom. Double back elbow. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. Close line. An impressive backbreaker there. Finn Balor must have kissed the Blarney Stone because he's yapping out there. Corey, you spoke about one of superstars in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to real life. The Miz is looking at this. Oh, man, right on the top of the head. And the Miz delivers the snap DDT, and that should do it. What a comeback. Oh, no, I don't like Luke Gallows' chances in this one. Don't count out Big LG just yet. Lightning fast reflexes. Are we going to see the tag, Byron? Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos at all six supers. Luke Gallows is going in for the kill. That's the move he was looking for. Magic killer! Too sweet. Carl Anderson looking downright dominant right now. This is Carl Anderson's chance. He's going for it all. Look at Finn Balor making his move. Coup de grace. That should do it. He's got him covered. What a six-man tag match.